parents, you don't want to actually tell the client anything about your own childhood traumas. That is not necessary at all. Um, what I do do, and I don't know whether that is particularly relational or whether that it comes again from the world of relational psychoanalysis in the United States. Uh, but what you can do is something like twin transference when a client brings something and you feel that the load of what they bring is uh, is huge and their coping with it is very very difficult i'm thinking particularly of severe trauma and the and and people who haven't had any help with that at all and 30 years later they bring some of this up um, and they wonder about themselves what they experience is weird or crazy or whatever. Occasionally, I normalize what they bring, and then I will go for the twin transference. And by that, I mean what I will do is I will say, we, as in human beings. Now, I know that in transactional analysis, people are often concerned that when we speak of we, we go into symbiosis. It's worthwhile thinking about that. I think sometimes that's totally okay, but when we speak of we as in twinning, what I do is that I come into the client's isolation and I normalize. I'm not saying this has happened to me, but I would say something like we as women or we as human beings sometimes feel like that or sometimes do have these thoughts so that they feel I'm not the only one. I'm not so alone. I'm not going crazy. There are lots of other people who have these thoughts and feelings. You know, so, so I'm not saying anything like, oh, yes, that's what I feel every night before I go to sleep or something silly like that. So they don't have to then carry me and my issues at all. Uh, this is about them. And I'm coming into their isolated space to kind of normalize and to share. But I'm not burdening them with my uh, uh, past trauma, so to speak.